Hello and welcome to another AQA GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to be looking at the 8300 series. This is the first paper in the higher tier of the May 2017 past papers. This is a non-calculator paper so we're not allowed to use calculators and we pick it up in question 4 which reads the ratio of A to B is equal to 4 to 3. Circle the correct statement. B is 4 sevenths of A, B is 3 sevenths of A, B is 4 thirds of A, or B is 3 quarters of A. Alright, so let's look at this. I think the easiest way to do it is just to write the ratio as A over B is equal to 4 over 3. And then, from there we can say that A is equal to 4 thirds of B. And if A is 4 thirds of B, then B must be 3 quarters of A. And therefore this is the correct answer for one mark. If that's not clear, uh, let's multiply both sides by 3. We'll say 3A is equal to 4B. And then if we divide both sides by 4, we can say 3 over 4A is equal to B, which is B is 3 quarters of A. OK, so where does this 7 come from? Well, when we're looking at ratios in terms of proportion, we could say that um, A over B... Actually, no, let's not do A over B, let's make it clearer. Let's say that A is equal to 4 sevenths of the total and B is equal to 3 sevenths of the total. Now, if we divide A over B, we can say A over B is equal to 4 times the total divided by 7 all divided by 3 times the total divided by 7 and we know that in order to divide we just invert and multiply so let me just clear some space OK, so A over B is equal to 4 times the total divided by 7 multiplied by 7 divided by 3 times the total. Now, the totals can cancel. and the sevens can cancel. So we're left with A over B is equal to 4 over 3, which is what we started with up here. OK, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams and we'll look forward to seeing you in another video.